This is my gorgeous rusty goby. You can't tell right now, but it's bright yellow. This is a little Molly Miller. That's a saddle bunny. That's a neon goby. That's a sponge decorator crab who stole some zoanthids, orange cup coral, hermit crabs, crested goby. That's the oldest one in the tank. Some wrasses, I think you. Blue headed, beautiful anemone. Another anemone closed up. Another hermit crab. Another Molly Miller. See, there's two Molly Millers. Somewhere in here, back there, is the Downy Blenny, who ate my Atlantic's Oyster Blenny. You're missing the clown wrasse because it comes out every morning and then goes and hides again. There is the seaweed bunny who's been in there a long time, who was one of my original cleaner crew. Back there again, you see the downy blenny lurking in the background. There you see a rosy blenny. It's been in there a long time too. Saddle bunny again. This was a huge bouquet of zoanthids until those decorator crabs stole them. Again, there's the tiny Molly Miller. There should be, there's also other fish that are hiding right now, but a few seem to have disappeared while I was away. Like, oh, there's one of the yellow, more yellow grasses, a little older maybe. There were three, I'm only seeing two. A few fish are hiding, a couple disappeared. Here's more of the zoanthids. Here's more of the zoanthids too, but that's, I think, the where they mostly stole them from, those sponge decorator crabs. Lots of hermits, because I got them for other people who never got them. There's the sponge decorator crab, another one, also stole some zoanthids and some sponges. There's the flamingo's tongue, one of the anemones that started out down here, but apparently decided to relocate up there. And there's another one that also relocated from down here to up there. And that's also a zoanthid. I think it was solitary zoanthid that, I think a snake zoanthid that has been in there a very long time. Again, you see that downy blenny in the background. The camera can't get it as well as the eye. Lots of very interesting creatures in here. You never know who you'll see. Let's see, there's that rusty goby again, trying to maybe look for some food. The other fish have taught it to come out from hiding and look for food. So I'm very excited. I thought maybe I'd never see it again once I put it in the tank. Thought it would hide under rocks, but it looks like it's adapted and is okay in there. So you can see, I love my tank. Very, very, very exciting. And maybe next time, you'll see that beautiful, 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 colorful clown wrasse. The most colorful fish in the tank.